How should we approach the word problem? Step 1. Understand the problem. Read the entire word problem thoroughly. Draw a diagram for visualization. Nick and John had a total of $3,800 when they went to shop for laptops. After Nick spent $2,200 on a laptop, John had thrice as much money as Nick. Find the difference in the initial amount of money both had brought with them for their shopping trip. Before we start on the solution, we should understand the problem first. Let us draw a diagram to help us. Who are the people involved? We have Nick and John. How are the two of them connected in this problem? Nick and John had a total sum of $3,800. We do not know how much money each has, but we know that they have different amounts of money as the question asks us to compare their initial amounts. Nick spent $2,200. As a result, John's amount of money is now three times of what is left of Nick's money. We are to find the difference in the initial amounts of money both had. Now that we've understood the problem, let's proceed to the next step. Step 2. Devise a plan. Choose a suitable method based on the relationships among known and unknown quantities. We can see from our diagram that there is comparison of two quantities, Nick's and John's amounts of money. A comparison model will be able to help us illustrate the relationship between these two quantities. From our diagram, we can see that both Nick and John had different amounts of money at first. Did John spend any money? No, he did not. Only Nick spent some of his money. We can represent Nick's amount of money with a long rectangular bar. Nick spent $2,200. So let's split this bar into two parts. Let's indicate the second part as spent. The remaining part is what Nick had left after his expenditure. John's amount of money is compared with this part of Nick's amount of money. How many times of this part? Three. Note, since John did not spend any money, these three units represent his initial amount of money. Do we have more information to add to the model? How about this piece of information? They have a total of $3,800 when they started out. We'll use a curly bracket here to represent a sum and then indicate the sum, which is $3,800. Now, what are we to find? We are to find the difference in the initial amounts. In a model, we indicate the quantity we are to find with a question mark. So, where should our question mark go? This represents Nick's initial amount. This represents John's initial amount. The difference in the initial amounts is here. This is where our question mark goes. Now that we have the plan, Let's move to the next step. Step 3. Carry out the plan. Follow the plan to work out the solution. It is always easier to work with whole or equal units. How many equal units can we find in this model? There are three here. And there's one here. So we have four equal units. Now, the four equal units would be the total here minus the expenses here. We write, four units are equal to $3,800 minus $2,200. This is equal to $1,600. One unit is equal to $1,600 divided by four. This is equal to $400. Let's place $400 in each of the equal units in the model. 
We have more information now to help us find the value represented by the question mark, which is this section here. So the solution is found when we take $2,200 and subtract two units from it. We write $2,200 minus two units is equal to. Now we know that each unit represents $400. So we have $2,200 minus 2 times of $400. This is equal to $1,400. Have we solved the problem? Is the solution correct? Let's proceed to step 4, a very important step. Step 4. Check back. Verify the result. Let's check back. We are told that both of them had a total of $3,800 at first. Let's find the sum of the initial amounts of Nick and John to see if it is $3,800. After Nick spent $2,200, he was left with $400. So initially, Nick had $400 plus $2,200, which is equal to $2,600. John's initial amount of money is equal to 3 units. That will be $400 times 3. This is equal to $1,200. Now let's add up $2,600 and $1,200. It gives us a total of $3,800. This is correct. Now let's write the statement. The difference in the initial amount of money is $1,400. Brilliant! We have solved the problem.